Hi friends! Welcome back to another Facebook field trip where we're trying to sort of help you get off the couch virtually anyway to join us up here at the zoo. We've been doing these Facebook lives every day at 1130. We're trying to bring the zoo to you while we're all practicing our physical distancing. I like to call it physical distancing, not social distancing because we need each other now more than ever, don't we? So I wanted to start out, we're going to be joining our rhino team, but I wanted to start out here in the zoo. First of all, some folks wanted me to talk just a little bit longer at the beginning, so it gives you a chance to get the kids gathered around. So go get the kids. We're going to go check in on the rhinos, but I wanted to show you how, look at my hair. See, when you try to part your hair, the opposite direction, <laughs> it sticks up. I wanted to show you how empty the zoo is right now. You guys, look at that. I'm standing right down here at Creekside. This is right where your kids love to play. You can see our rhino sculpture. The bird shows empty. Actually, let me turn it around this way so I know what you're looking at a little bit better. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show you how sad this is for us to just have such an empty zoo. I'm pretty much here by myself, um, which is just, it makes us sad. So we're so glad you're joining us for these Facebook Lives because it gives us a chance still to share our gorgeous animals with you and keep the zoo top of mind. So hopefully you're excited to come back uh, as soon as we can open up. By the way, don't forget, it's a tough time at the zoo. The zoo's a very expensive business model. We have a lot of animals to feed, lots of meat eaters, fish eaters. So if you're able, and you can support the zoo, you can go to hokelzoo.org. There's a donate there button and just kind of help us get through this little chunk of time while we're closed to the public. Um, we would love that, but we know times are, times are tough right now. So we're so glad you're here joining us. Let's pop in and see the rhinos. So I'm gonna flip this around so that you guys can kind of orient yourself. Let's see how quiet. We've got people checking in from Columbus. Hi, Chris. Hi, Jeremy. Two of my friends there. I love that. So we're going to come walk through this gate. So over here is the rhino yard. Help you just kind of get oriented a little bit. We're going to go back behind the scenes and watch a little bit of, I already propped this gate open. And we're going to get up close with George and Princess and do a rhino painting and a bath. So this is a big freezer here. We store a lot of our meat back here. This is a side holding yard. There's Sunny Side. Oh, hello from Arizona. Thanks for tuning in. Amazon wish list. Yes, thank you for asking. Our Amazon account is up and running, so that's another place you can donate. Um, watching from your couch, Jeff. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody tune in. Let's go meet some of our favorite keepers. Our elephant team in here. This is, there she is, guys. There's Lauren. She does elephants and rhinos. So we're a lot of people don't get to come into the elephant no. rhino bar. And this is Lauren, you guys. She's the lead Hi. keeper. We're practicing our very social distance, distance, social distancing, <laughs> physical distancing. So I've been telling everyone one how empty the zoo is. We don't yeah. love that, but we are dying to come up and see the rhinos and get up close and hear more about how you take care of them. Yeah, of course. So. Yeah, we can walk on down here so um, what you'll see in our barn is we actually have four stalls um, so everybody is outside since it's a really nice day out but we set it up with enrichment and food and breakfast in the morning so we usually bring everybody in and then we spend the first few hours of the day doing any sort of husbandry stuff um, fun training activities and husbandries just working with them yeah. training or health care kinds of things. Correct. Now. Yeah. So we did footwork this morning on Zuri. We did blood draw yesterday. So that kind of falls into any sort of medical okay. stuff. So yeah, it's great. So what are we doing today? Um, so we're going to do something that I'm actually really excited about, which is uh, rhino butt prints. It's been a forever <laughs> mystery of our guests to always come out and see princesses, but some form of color um, and people always want to wonder how we do that so we're actually going to bring you down we we she was out sleeping so we pulled her in so she can get some nice treats and then we'll show you how we do the butt print great yeah. let's try it out let's try it out so we're going to do a right butt print now by the way you can uh purchase these Correct. They are uh, for sale in the gift shop when the gift shop does open back up. And what's really cool is that all the money goes to Rhino Conservation, the International Rhino Foundation. So between uh, our butt prints that we sell and Rhino Encounters, we raised almost $8,000 last year to send for Rhino Conservation, which is awesome. So cool. So there's our man of mystery, Jason. <laughs> He's kind of like the Facebook shadow. Yeah. He'll appear, but he doesn't love it very much. Yeah. Hi, Jason. And then we have Kieran and Maggie. Wait, let me zoom in on those two smiling faces. <laughs> there we are. So tell us 
So we got rhino in here. Yeah, this is Princess. Jason's with Princess right now. So those of you that know anything about our rhinos, they are our geriatric crew. So we have a half brother and sister. Princess here is 43 years old and her brother George is 40, which is uh, geriatric we like to consider them. Uh, life expectancy for a rhino in the wild is uh, mid to late 20s. So I that's what's love, really cool. <laughs> I always love to say they feel like a big old callus. Yeah, they're really, they have really, really rough skin, um, but they love tactile, which I always think is funny. So if, you do, if you've done our rhino encounters before, you know you get to come down and pet and feed them, which is great. And I have to say, down here under these folds, that's the part I like, because the app, it's soft, it feels like your mom's leather couch like so worn yeah, leather. They're yeah. old. Ashley says, wow, they're old. Yeah, so if you come to the zoo often and you see them sleeping, it's because they're old and retired. So people will always say, we never see them active, but they're kind of in retirement mode. So they do a lot of eating and a lot of sleeping these How days. How active would rhinos be anyway? They just kind of would Yeah, stand they're kind of eat, like right? a meander. They meander about. They're kind of an easygoing animal as it is. And so, the, yeah, maybe a younger one might get bouts of energy and run around. But these guys like to spoon out on an exhibit. It's really cute. So you'll hey, see them often once. sleeping. I had a friend come up and she was wearing a black and white striped dress. Oh, yeah. And the wind caught it and oh, it blew, yeah. and they were terrified. So you can see your blue butt from the last butt prints. <laughs> okay, so let's see how you get a rhino butt prints. Yeah, so we'll come down here and talk about the ERD um, while we shift her into here. So this is a really uh, important part of our husbandry and training. So this is called an elephant restraint device. Um, wow. If we've done stuff in the giraffe barn, which I know you guys have done a lot of videos, you'll see a GRD, which is a giraffe restraint device. It's a very common thing they use in hoof stock. Um, so it's kind of a way for us to get a little bit closer. So Princess is a champ. She's our rock star rhino. So she's going to come right in here. We have lots of food. Right in there. Yep, okay. we have lots of food for her at the end. This doesn't make her nervous. Not at all. No. Nope. What's the What's the purpose of it? Yeah. So we actually kind of squeezed her down a little bit, so we can kind of go to the front and see how um, how it is as well. But she gets laser therapy three times a week because she has a little bit of arthritis. So she actually has a very good geriatric routine. So she sees a laser therapist. So uh, she actually comes in here just like this to eat her breakfast and then they work on her leg which is great okay. so we would do things like footwork in here blood draws artificial insemination so we have a lot of variety and it just keeps them from yeah kind of swinging their head around yeah it keeps them a little bit more contained we obviously make it very very positive for them they come in here often both the rhinos and the elephants okay so yeah we can kind of come to the front we can see um how We've she's got a lot of people chiming in saying i got to feed them oh yeah it's just such a positive experience it's one of my favorite encounters so you can kind of see through here appreciation um how she's squeezed down so, so um she just makes it a narrow yep and then she's got food at the bottom so she's just gonna chill while we do this so she just likes to do this for the food oh yeah she loves the attention she'd stay in here all day if she could so she's gonna get a lot of food a lot of attention very positive okay and so should we go to the yeah backyard? let's do it Go to the back side here. There's Kieran. Hello. And Maggie was somewhere. So Jason will take you to the box. <laughs> okay. Where am I going this way? Yep. Okay. I always just want to make sure I know where I'm going in here, you know. Okay. So I'm gonna. Okay. So we're behind the rhino now. Their horns are made of keratin. Um, who asked that? I'm trying. What are their horns made of? They're made of keratin, similar to our fingernails. So she's really great. Um, we use a non-toxic paint, um, but a lot of people don't realize we have to use paint rollers. So we, she has a very large. So butt. she's not gonna like spray back or kick back not, or anything, no. right? Yeah, okay, because I'm kind of in the she's pretty used spray to this. zone. Oh yeah. my goodness, you guys! It's a two-person job. It is. Yes. Got Maggie on the right, Lauren on the left. Yep. So we get it nice and full paint. Their skin is very dry, so the first layer will kind of soak up like lotion. So we kind of do a lot of paint. So this this is a very labor process. So any of you that purchase our rhino butt prints know that a lot of love went into it. <laughs> <laughs> and she just does it for the food. Yeah, she's like, Is well, it like a little massage for us? Like, cool, a spa day? Right? Yeah, and then she gets a bath after, so she loves it. Oh my goodness. So it's non-toxic paint. Yep, yeah, it's just kids' poster board paint. Um, but yeah, we kind of have to paint a large section of her butt um, in order to get, <laughs> to get it on the canvas. We use a very large canvas. Those of you that have seen these in the gift shop, they're a very fun thing to have. They're a good talking piece for your house because a lot of people are like, what is that? What is that? Yeah. They are a sock after item for sure. They are. <laughs> we got a lot of uh, laughy, laughy faces coming up here. This is quite, so this is a very large canvas. So what what size do? canvas is that? Uh, 24 by 30. So Maggie's going to kind of hold one section down, and then what we do is we press into her butt. <laughs> and then I'm going to swap her so she can get her butt so cheek So she over presses there. her cheek. Yep. 
And Princess is saying, oh, yeah, 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 that's the spot. Yeah. That's the spot. All right, let's turn it <gasps> let's around. Let's see it. Oh my goodness, how fun! So we're gonna do one more. Usually, we can usually get two out of the painting. So you just paint her, oh, you just kind of touch off a little bit? Yeah. Second coat. Second coat. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Megan says now my toddler wants to paint his behind. <laughs> we should have warned the mothers watching yeah. that we're gonna be giving your kids some really big ideas. PG rated stuff here. <laughs> Princess is a rock star. She is really great. Nothing really phases her. She um, loves attention and food. So this is, we've been doing this now for a few years. So like I said, those of you that see her on exhibit when she has a blue butt or a white butt, now you know why. <laughs> Bonnie then, just chimed in and said, I'm just tuning in. What on earth is going <laughs> on here? We're showing you how we get rhino butt prints. We sell these in our gift shop um, and we sell them at our fundraising events as well. Um, and so we're showing you how we do that. So this is Princess, and these are her two great keepers in here. <laughs> do you ever apply the paint to your hands to give a real massage? Um, yeah, we'll do mineral oil if we want to give them like a spa day so we moisturize their skin. Um, but yeah, we kind of do different stuff with them in here as well. Ooh, that one looks Let's nice. see how that one looks. Oh, very nice. It's a spitting image. <laughs> So you guys, Princess is here. She's in what's called a, um, an elephant restraint device because they share the same area as elephants. And she just does it for, um, hmm? oh my goodness, look at this. She just does it for treats. So she's in there getting good treats. All right, you guys, look at these two masterpieces. Now, if you want one of these while our gift shop is closed, I'm going to give you guys my email, okay? So this oh, look is what at that. we do on the back. If you purchase it, we have like a stock of painting of her butt. And then a cute <laughs> photo of her so people believe you when it's actually a butt. And it says at the top, <laughs> Rhino Butt yeah, Prince. Yeah, Princess. By Prince. Now, does George do these? Um, George is a little bit more sensitive about his butt. Oh, so he's all kinds. Yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rub so it, rub can, it. It's a little messy, but you can watch Maggie. She's going to do a few layers. It's going to take a little while to get that paint off. Oh my goodness, you guys, can you imagine when you do bath time with your dogs or even your toddlers? How much does she weigh, Princess? Um, she's about 42. Jason's gonna double check. Okay. 43. 4,300 pounds. Oh my goodness. And she's up there, you guys. She's just getting all sorts of treats. Yeah. She and loves Maggie's the attention. Got some soap, so she's gonna do a butt massage. Oh, this <laughs> is spa day. Oh, get those glutes. Yeah. Get those glutes, Maggie. Princess is just eating, relaxing. Hey, you guys, if you're interested in purchasing either of those two paintings that you just saw, I'm going to give you my email, okay? Now, I can't get back to you till Monday when finance is back, but I would love to be able to sell those. We're kind of, you know, anyone that can contribute anything to the zoo right now, we'd love. Um, at hogalzoo.org, there is a donate button if you would like to support your zoo. I know we're all spread a little thin right now, so we get up close. I'm worried she's going <laughs> to yeah, spray no, backward, but well, I don't think... You might just get a little paint and soap. Maybe. I don't know if rhinos do spray backwards. So no. grab a pen and paper. I'm going to give you my email so you can bid or ask to purchase. I don't know what we normally... Uh, I think they're two fifty um, is what we charge for them since they are uh, one of our larger paintings. But like I said, all the money goes to the zoo, to conservation. Yeah. She just does not care that you guys are touching her butt. <laughs> nope. She's like, get it, girl. Yep, get it. It's going to take a few layers. So Maggie's, Maggie's going to do a rinse, a rinse and repeat. She's like <laughs> playing Annie in here, hard yeah. knock life, hard knock life for Maggie. Yeah. Okay, you guys, my email address is E Hansen, E H A N S E N at hogalzoo.org, ehansen at hogalzoo.org. Everyone wants an elephant painting too. We'll be bringing you some of those. It's actually a really great way for, you know, us to still, people to still get their hands on some yeah. zoo items and look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sherry says, hi, Maggie, Lauren, and Erica. Everyone needs a rhino butt painting. Does it hurt to scrub the paint off? Olivia wants to know. They have really, really rough skin. Um, and so these guys get kind of a scrub down. Um, our elephants will too. Um, you know, we use uh, animal friendly soap and yeah, she loves it. It probably is really exfoliating. Maggie's getting a good forearm workout oh, right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Can you pay extra for requested colors? Um, yeah, usually if you email, if you want to email Erica, or a lot of times you, people get my uh, number as well, you can um, request colors, and the next time we do them, we'll get it for you. Absolutely. Again, my email is E Hansen, E H A N S E N. She doesn't seem to get tickled by the brush. No, the, it's a pretty hardwire brush, and she's still up there eating, um, so she's just. <laughs> 
relaxing. <laughs> We're doing most of the work, honestly. I've never done yeah. spa day while eating, <laughs> yeah. so I'm kind of trying to wrap my brain around She's that. She's eating while she just got it painted, you know, painted and is now getting a bath. Now, Harmony's eight-year-old wants to know what we feed rhinos for treats. Um, so she's got some hay up front and then some grain, um, but they love bananas, carrots, apples. You're kind of like produce. Them, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at our shoes, you guys. Yeah. We're getting splashed. That See, like how smart Lauren is. Yeah. She's done this before. Yeah, James is, the, is watching. Hi, James. The messiest process. Oh, I love it, though. So Rhino Spa Day. You guys, again, if you want those um, rhino prints, E. Hansen, E-H-A-N-S-E-N at hogelzoo.org. Anybody else have questions while I have this awesome animal care team here? She's eating, hay, you said hay and, what did you say? Hay and grain. Um, hay and grain. Yep. So these guys have a diet of hay, fruits and vegetables, and grain. So they eat a few hundred pounds of food a day, um, just depending on the day of it. Tina wants to know if she's ever gone to the bathroom while you've been getting the painting. She is very polite. And oh, she's a lady. She's a she lady. is a lady. But every time we laugh because we think she's, I mean, we'll probably rinse her a little bit more, but we always think she looks really good. And then she goes on exhibit and dries and she still has paint on. So if you guys wonder why she has a blue butt, we are like, oh yeah, she looks really good. Maggie's just going to switch sides. It's a lot okay. of area to cover here. It's, so. <laughs> guys, it is. it's a full time job. Can we go up by her head so yeah, you can, we can see her? Yeah, let's go see her eating her treats up there. So you guys, if you're just tuning in, we've been doing paint, paint and bath time with uh, Princess, the rhino. Here's our girl. How fast can they go when they run? Uh, about 20, 25 miles an hour. That's pretty good. How old is Princess? She's 43, so she is 43. a senior citizen. Ooh, she's an old senior too, she's an right? She's old senior, yeah. And the life expectancy in the wild is going to be about 20s, uh, and in zoos they can live into their 40s and 50s. So, so, animals so Lisa, to, we've doubled her life expectancy mm -hmm. there. We did already paint her, but you guys, these Facebook Live videos just live on our Facebook page forever. So if you miss that part, as soon as we sign off, you can go back and check it out, and it is worth it. Mm -hmm. Terry, her son wants a rhino. What oh, are your yeah. What are your recommendations for a pet rhino? They eat a lot and poop a lot, and are slow moving. So I mean, I, if you need your grass mowed, and it's forty three hundred pounds, yeah, they you poop have a few hundred pounds a day. So does she have a favorite? Now, you guys, I do want to mention if you want the experience of a lifetime, I'm going to kind of sneak yeah. in here. We offer rhino encounters. So that you can come up, your your family, you guys can feed them. You put some fruit on a stick, and they love it. You get to pet them. You get time with the animal care team. You see, it's so soft in here. Can you guys see in there? It's so soft. Um, you get time with the animal care team. You get your pictures taken, and that money goes toward um, rhino conservation, which is something we're really passionate about. These two have not had babies. They're brother and sister. Yeah. George and Princess are brother and sister. And they're a little past breeding age, being older. They're, so. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're grandma <laughs> they're grandpa older. here. Um, someone's kid wants to know if they always have two horns. Um, so some species of rhinos have one horn. These are the southern whites. They have two horns. So actually it's really cool since their horns are made out of keratin. You can see how it's shaped really differently. A lot of people um, comment on that. So what she likes to do is she, there's skin in between her two horns. So she likes to itch that on the wire. And as she's doing that, she kind of makes this notching on her horn. So every horn is kind of unique to that animal. Same thing with the tusks on our elephants as well. And um, Cassie wants to know if she's drinking the paint water. It's it's non-toxic, so it's good. We've kind of flushed it down. There might be a little bit in there, but we always use kid paint, kid-friendly paint. So she's getting mostly the hay, but there might be a I'm little in there. I'm going to see if I can show people behind her ears. Oh, yeah, you Will can she be ahead. okay yep. with that? Yep. Um, I'm trying to think the best angle because look how soft that is, you guys, behind those ears. Yeah, I'm telling you, it feels spots. like a leather couch. I love that spot. Oh, yeah, she likes that. Cute and I love her little ears. hairy ears. We already answered how fast they run. You said 20, 20 miles yeah, an hour? 25 miles an hour. These guys will do a lot more sleeping and a lot less running these days. Um, now, Brooklyn wants to know how long you've been working with Princess, Lauren. Um, I've been here almost nine years now. So my specialty is elephants. I worked whales and dolphins for a long time. So this is my first time working with rhinos, and they're great. So Lauren, you guys see pretty much any time you come to see one of our elephant demonstrations, because our elephant team works with both elephants and rhinos. Um, shoot, someone had a question. Let me go back. Do they ever shed their horns? They do not. So the difference between a horn and an antler, an antler would be shed. A horn is permanent. Oh, well, see, there's your something new that you've learned. And their eyesight, their eyesight is bad. 
Their eyesight is not great. <laughs> yeah, so sorry, it's just verifying. She's that getting my, mocked I'm by her. That my, my She's like, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> She's got. I gotta show everyone. She's got her like support her support team back here. Karen, Maggie, Jason. Yeah, so their eyesight's not great. Um, so a lot of people think rhinos are really aggressive. They get nervous if we, you know, since we offer encounters. But um, a lot of it is they don't see very well. And especially these guys have cataracts in their older age. So they just get a little nervous and scared. But they definitely do more of a bluff charge and then run off. So they're not as scary as you think they are. Does George ever get spa day paint sessions? He, we don't do paint, but we do spa day with him. He's a little bit more sensitive about his butt. Um, Princess He's just a little self-conscious. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Princess is great, doesn't care about anything. She's a rock star animal. She's so. like more for loving right yeah, there, right she's there. Like happy to hang out with us. So let's pop back, show everyone those paintings again while Princess finishes her snack. Um, here's the big bath brush, by the way. And that, what kind of soap is that? Um, so it's like a cattle type of soap orvis so oh, okay. i use it with a lot of like hoof stock and stuff like that so now yeah. do rhinos make sounds and what does that sound like lauren i like to challenge keepers <laughs> okay, well, to i'm not gonna make the noise. why <laughs> i can't get keepers to make animal uh, noises why is that do, like, a whistle. <laughs> maggie let's get closer maggie that was amazing Okay, so if we hear that, back off. Yeah. Okay. Are they looking for each other or no, okay. Okay. You guys, Maggie wins for best keeper, <laughs> keeper animal impersonation. It's hard to get keepers to do that. I don't yes. know why. Uh, so this is about prints that we did. So we just did these again. If you missed, if you're just tuning in or you missed it, go back and watch the video from the beginning because it's so fun to see how they make these and then we butt about prints. The pictures that if you purchase them in the gift shop, we here's her painted butt. Mm -hmm. There's beautiful a princess. Portrait of princess with it as well. So that you guys can, you, I'm going to give you my email address because just we just we we're we're black. close right now. We don't have um, finance here to kind so of help teal, with some of that. A teal one, a blue one, and this a black. This is a beautiful one. teal, royal blue, and black. My email address is e hansen e h a n s e n at hogelzoo.org. You're getting so many yay Maggies right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be the new superstar. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much for letting us sneak in here. You guys, how about that? That's Rhino Spa Day. Thank you for joining in. By the way, remember, it's we're, we're close to the public right now, so any support that you might be able to give, if you're enjoying these Facebook Lives or your kids are anxious to get back, I tell you, every time I try to part my hair on the other side, it's sticking straight up. Um, you can go to hogelzoo.org um, to support your zoo, which we'd appreciate. We do do other animal prints. We have elephant, a lot of our animals participate in this art program. Most of that funding goes straight toward conservation. Everything from meerkats yeah, up to elephants. Check out our zoo so I'm going to plug Zoo Brews. Zoo Brew, um, since I'm part of the Animal Art Committee, we sell a lot of that art at Zoo Brews. Um, we'll sell some of it in the gift shop as well, but that's kind of a fun incentive to come to our Zoo Brews, which is our after hours uh, adults only program. This is a great quarantine souvenir. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. again, you can email me at ehansen at hogelzoo.org. And to answer Brady's question, it's tough when zoos have to close to the public. It costs Forty to forty-five thousand dollars a day to run the zoo. So we really rely on you know admission, people riding the carousel, riding the train, um, buying things in the gift shop, and all that stuff really helps us take the best care of our animals. So if it's something you can do, I know that we're all on really you know uncertain times right now. But hogelzoo.org, there is a donate now button if you'd like to support your zoo, or we also have an Amazon wish list if you want to help provide enrichment yeah. like this. Fun stuff. Lauren, let's flip it around. We'll show the star of the day. Maggie, <laughs> Kieran, Jason. Yeah. You guys are awesome. We will be back tomorrow at 1130. We're bringing the zoo to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day.